Welcome back <laughs> to another Real Talk Reaction. This one's for Peaky Blinders, Season 4, Episode Number 2. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, man. Thank you. Um, Executive producer Jamal comes through in the last episode to say, Aw, oh, shit, man. It's going down. RJ, I'm so <laughs> effing hyped about the direction of oh. the season. <laughs> J-Rabbit. It's a... It's about to be a lit litty season four. I'm what? here for it. RJ. I'm so geeked and so excited. J Rabbit. Let's do this. I'm about to say it. all the quotes. Is this person coming like this? Yeah. yeah, this person's my friend. Pick all our quotes. That was super cute. I actually read your comment, Jamal, like yeah. off of my phone, and I was like, I can't wait to be sure. Yeah, it's about to be lit. All right, then we got Sip T who says, Welcome to season four. Okay. Simple as that. Let's get into episode two right now. Right in front of your house. You was like right there. No, you can do that. You spoke into him. That's Walter. As is your right. Awesome. Peace for all of you. Ever. I went on time, Kyle. You don't remember. You remember that God spared you. But what did you do with that extra time that he gave you, eh, Thomas? Oh my God. She's <laughs> in, Paul. She's crazy. I'm gonna get mad. Auntie. Here's enough time. Yeah. The men do this firing on an outside. Ooh. <laughs> That's who Aver, whatever he said his name was. Wow. Did you see how many times he juked him? Man, he juked the fuck out of his Aver shoot him. I see you in the scorch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. These they're fucking so savages, I'm man. Gonna get an invitation to Amarama Gold. Amarama Gold. Amarama. Oh, fuck. Oh, Put it out in the open on purpose. He used John's funeral fire as a fucking beacon. We were never in any danger, Paul. You set a trap! Finn! Finn! Go to the yard and light the fires. You set a trap for us at fucking bait! Who's dead? Our enemies. Who's dead? We got word to them about the funeral, the way, the when. Tell them where to stand for the best shots. Oh, they said and that's how shit is That's the language of Vendetta. I take one of ours. We take two of theirs. We used to make a brother's funeral. My brother already did. Which one we do? When did we vote on this, Tommy? Early. Get a boat ready to take the bodies to the city. And another boat for anyone, anyone who wants no more part of this. Because this is how it's going to be. Right. Polly! Polly used to be I'm staying to... for this, Southern. I'm going home. Oh, yeah? I'm 57 water in line. You go there, lock the doors. You wait for me. Let me 
that nigga out here sleeping. And let me walk right on in. Bang. On your feet. Should have went to sleep and the other one should have stayed woke. Well, that's what we should have did, but we were just drinking and we both just went to sleep. Sorry, fires now. Um, um. Spin a coin for your yard, Charlie. Coin to what? If it's heads, I'll be here to take all of this with my blessing. Joy. And if it's tiles, I fuck your daughter, Mr. Gold. Does <laughs> have a daughter? You have three daughters, I hear. And uh, Esmeralda is the oldest and also the prettiest. So I'll have a swagger part of the deal, spin against the yard. Tell me for fuck's sake. Yeah. You wanna Just come at me? You wanna come at me with impossible shits? You wanna go ahead and spin this? This is a gypsy coin? That's what I would say. Spin in the rod to stop the bird from burning. <laughs> You didn't get potatoes, Charlie. No, you didn't get fucking potatoes. What's the matter with you? I don't want that bastard ever around the gold. Putting around the wheel of like these guys. I want him to see the wheel proper. <laughs> Johnny, uh, Johnny's moving some kind of way. I'll get the potatoes myself. I don't even think that we're pieces of shit. Yeah, because they pieces of shit. Right. They pieces of shit. Never thought my high fucking heels from Paris would be stepping through the whole shit of small heats ever again. Temporary, Polly. Yeah, until hell freezes over. Like... Yeah, Polly, he needs you. I love that Michael said that though. Mm -hmm. You get us, you get us through these next five weeks. I promise you, I'm gonna get on this train to Australia. But if he ain't in his right mind, we all gonna die. Yeah. Starting now. Get your horse vetted by Lizzie. They use your weakness. Don't take any new men on in the factories unless you know their families. And your new friend, Mr. Alabama Gold. Alabama Gold. He wants something other than just money. I see things in the air around people. It's not just the tablets. It's real. Ask him what he really wants. I'm just thinking about how to kill these motherfucking Italians and, and not die. I ain't strategizing none of the other shit you just said at all. But you know you're right. I gotta vet these holes. All this, all this stuff. Keep on you 
you Italian? Because you know the Italian. He's definitely not Italian. With that black hair, bro. I mean, I, you know, I can't be trusting my face. Now, you can't. I actually have no idea what you're talking Yeah, it's a plot twist. <laughs> Guys, that were just yeah, like, maybe I'll come on and get you. Walking from He's a Charlie's. But I wouldn't go there. Some bad men have arrived. Yes, I would. Be drunk by now. Worse. We've taken a message. The uh, intelligence service in London have sent seven officers up to Birmingham to take out the investigation into communists and seditionists. They've got a list of people of great interest in the... Why are you telling me all this? ...as Ada Thorne, formerly Shelby and Ara Lessing, to think that she came back from New York to organise a revolution in Birmingham. Well, tell them they're wrong. Ada Shelby's now firmly back in place in the family business. It is. You get a mark against your name. It's very hard to shift it. They will come looking for... Well, tell them there's a queue. Everybody wants a Shelby. This is Shelby. He's a military man. No less dangerous than any Italians. You tell Sonny. I think he'll understand. So I go now to you then. Yeah. And now I work for you, Mr. Shelby. And not enough money. I don't know for you. You know for what? There's someone here wants to fight you. Body gold, come here, son. Body gold. I'm an heavyweight. He's a world to weigh the best. The less he wants to fight you. Yeah, when I damage him, the blinders will take my eyes. Now come back, Billy. It's just a fight. Where's Billy Rules? The blinders will take my eyes. Now! Where? Here! Here! Yeah. Come on! I need to get this shit done. It's early in the morning. Cause he got a first meeting at 10. You didn't find him. Some of more his weight class though. This guy's humongous. Oh, he just wants to stay up. If he can fight, he can fight. That's what he's telling you. Yeah, it's very last minute. Okay, this is nothing really in my repertoire of doing. I need to train for this. I'm, I'm working. Is this something in this box and shit?
you go. Come on, shit. Thank you. There he is. Let's make it quick. I understand you've had a bereavement. What you're doing here is robbery. You cut five shillings from the weekly wage. Mm -hmm. You said if I did that, you'd bring every man and woman in all my factories out on strike. Yes. That's happened, I know. Do you have a whistle? If so, blow it. I thought at least we might have a discussion. Oh, she, she might do it, but... As I do with other owners. I'm not other owners. No. You believe because coal is expensive and it's been a cold winter, and because wages have been cut over the past 12 months, you think because of all that, nobody will walk out on strike. Because no one can afford to. People have the traditions of honor. As do we. As do we. Honor. Instead of sending you a black hand that could have had you killed in the night. No, no, mine. But I want. Hold up hell for our job. gangster ass episode two of Peaky Blinders and man look here I'm gonna tell you right now I ain't seen nothing that gangster in a long time man long time and you know you got the mixture of what we already love with the Peaky Blinders up in here and then you bring in the New York Mafia up in here just being all New Yorky as all you can be um these motherfuckers are two steps ahead of the blinders like it seems like already like they didn't just arrive on the boat and be like where let's just try to find the people blinders and kill them let's win nah, they're like we look we're gonna sit back we're gonna plan this shit out they obviously got connections because to get up in tommy's organization to get up in his house to just like know what the movements are all them somebody is definitely helping them out for sure with the information i don't know who where why when maybe it's the police i i don't know but they're really good at what they do. And man, if uh, 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 when, when Brody came through, Luca. Uh, Luca came through, I mean, that was just the hardest shit you can just do right there. If I was Tommy, I would look the same. Look, I'm just going to be froze right here. I don't want to look scared. Yeah, I don't but you fucked me up a little bit. You got me, bro. <laughs> like, you got me, You're got right. me. <laughs> And like I for sure thought I had bullets yeah. to cover it out. And especially, so right. like that and woke me up a little bit. Especially <laughs> where I was like, I'm gonna grab a cigarette because I'm still cool. I'm proper, right. right? But I'm gonna fuck him up with this gun. <laughs> Guess what, bro? I already sent somebody here to the game. All got the bullets. Now I'm just scared, scared, right? You know, I be shitting my pants. Just like it's just, damn, you motherfuckers. Are, I gotta respect that. You gotta respect that all day long. We still got like. Three different stories going on too, though, right? Like now we got the boxer going on. Now we got the damn the, the strike riot thing going on. That's later on if we can get past this mafioso shit that's happening right now. But Luca is not fucking around. I don't know if there can be any truce. I don't know if there can be. Uh, uh, I think the only thing is just to the death. 
and the, the best person will win. Done. This is what it is. Um, but they will not stop. The bullets are meant for everybody in the family. And once that is done, it's done. So, episode number two is where we at. So, shit is firing on all cylinders to me. And I'm just enthralled with it. Gangster as fuck. Can't wait to see the next episode. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And we're, like, at the point, too, now. Like, even if it got voted down or rotation, we get to finish the season. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just like, we good. Um... No, so uh, I'll start before that part. Um, I thought Michael's speech to uh, to Polly about being like, listen, <clears throat> if you even want us to be able to get to Australia, you need to be there for Tommy. Yeah. Like, Tommy, and I loved how after that conversation, they made it so obvious that Tommy was looking for Polly to stand up, that he needs Polly. And I'm glad that, like, uh, Michael was able to get through to her in order for her to make that adjustment because he, uh, Tommy clearly relies on what Polly brings to the business because she does have a di she does bring a different perspective. She sees a lot that he doesn't sure. see, she is and he can be very tunnel vision, focusing on what he's doing. And like to your point, when we were even watching the, that that. Part was like, oh shit, I wasn't thinking about any of those things. So yeah. I'm so glad you just brought every single thing you brought up right now, and I'm gonna go handle every one of these things yeah. at the same time. So that was just really well done. Um, I don't think Michael necessarily is gonna honor that, but I think he said what he had to say to get Polly to show up because they need Polly now. So we'll see how that plays out. But I thought Michael was just a boss. I like. And he, he mummed it up to her. Hey, mom, 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 mom. Uh, like, really, I think he might be manipulating her a little bit. But ultimately, these are the things that Paula needs to do right now. Otherwise, they would all they be fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think we'll see how it plays out. But I do think that Michael showed up and showed what authority he could, recognizing the role Polly needs to play amidst yeah. all this drama. Um, I freaking love, I had to pull it up. Avarada. I love that it's Aiden Gillen, who is the guy, like, fucking love it. I love his character, too. I thought he came in, yeah, I thought he came in and just dominated his role. Um, the boxing thing was not the way that I was going to see how it played out, but we'll have to see. That's later. I would also be very, uh... Cautious though that it's just he wants boxing because it sounds like Abraham has a, pot a potential vendetta against the Shelby's too based on the, bar the, the dad and, and something yeah, them falling out back shit, in the day yeah. yeah so it might be a ploy just to get his son in the midst as a peaky to spy so that they can make their play too so I'm not holding my breath that this is anything good Abraham doesn't seem like a person who just makes good deals you know he out yeah. here being a yeah. savage so um and the fact that anyways i don't want to speak more on that but i do feel like there's a potential ploy being had here too that's going to blow up in shelby's face later on that he's not even seeing he thinks he's uh addressed that and it's cool but you can't hype up a character like abraham and be like he just wanted his son to box like i don't see that being the thing but we'll have to see but i love Again, the casting. This is the casting of this season is fucking killing it. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, Adrian Brody as Luca gives me life. Like, it is like the greatest thing of all time. Yeah, like, it, like literally, I fucking love it. Yeah, I cannot get it. enough. And like, I have never thought Adrian Brody is sexy, but he's sexy as hell as Luca. Yeah. Like, he is killing yeah. this role. Like, he it is, is killing it. Ah, uh, the confidence he had, one, to like, not put all of his cards out, like to step into the room and be like, your security is big shit. Y'all ain't got shit. Like, y'all ain't got shit here. I can't believe all I had to tell him was I'm from Paris. And he's like, let him in. Then. And then Shelby thinking he had the, uh, Tommy thinking he had the upper hand with his gun. And then Luca being like, not only did I just walk into your thing, but I had another person literally walk yeah, into your space. Like somebody with overalls, because that's what they were all wearing. Yeah. Remember when we saw them walking out? They were all wearing overalls. Oh, yeah. So he literally just dressed up someone and was like this is how easy it is to infiltrate the shit i can kill you right now <laughs> no, um, i could have killed you months ago well, okay, I think I you so many times um and i like the fact that he was like okay i wanted to talk to you face to face before i take you out and i love that he was like my mom told me <laughs> it's like, I need to kill you last because that shit yeah, would hurt, hurt you the most. most. But so. should we handle this as 
gentleman. And I liked even when he did the bullets, because you kept saying he was going to say Charlie, right? And he never said Charlie. He never said uh, Tommy's son. Yeah. He just went through the... He didn't even say Finn. So he's not a... He's not a savage. Yeah, he's not... He's, he's like, not, listen, he's I'm just going to take out your whole, you know, adult, adult family. family. Yeah. And then, you know, everybody else is straight. Um, but I'm going to save you for last. So I thought that was just, again... He is like the epitome of gangster, and he killed it so much, and I literally uh -huh. cannot get enough of Adrian Brody as Luca. I'm like here for it, and yeah. I just can't wait for the next episode. Uh, and I was, I was almost gonna be like, dang, we have, we have, the seasons are only six episodes. How are you gonna have a whole episode without Adrian Brody, Luca, in this? Because it was at the very end too, and I was like, that would be very um, misfortunate. But it's not. They, they gave us a little <laughs> tease to it, so I'm excited about that. Cannot wait to see where it goes from here, but yeah. absolutely love this episode. Yeah. Again. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Peaky Blinders Season 4, Episode Number 2. And until next time.